My question is to Dr. Zakir Naik. Uh, in the beginning of your talk, you said about the criteria of hijab. The very first point is clothing must cover the entire body. And for hijab, and I always do in my talk the six criteria. And I mentioned that the first criteria is for the woman, the complete body should be covered except the face and the hands up to the wrist. Many scholars say this should be covered. That's what I say in my talk. Now the question she's asking me that which is right, should the entire body be covered or the face and hands can be seen? This is a question which has troubled many scholars and sages. And we as Muslim sister should follow Quran and the Sunnah. There is not a single verse in the complete Quran, nor is there a single hadith, a say hadith, in any of the hadith of the Prophet which says that the face should be covered. I am aware that there are many scholars have written books that face should be covered. There are many scholars have written that the face can be open. So in the criteria of the extent for the woman, according to my study, the complete body should be covered except the face and the hands up to the wrist. And this has even been told by Sheikh Nasruddin al-Albani. Even he writes in his book of fatwa and gives various say hadith which shows that at the time of the Prophet, there were lady companions of the Prophet Sahabiyas who had the face uncovered several hadith. For example, Hazrat Bilal, may Allah be pleased with him. When there was a collection and there was a lady who took out the jewelry and it was said that she was a black lady. Then the another hadith when the companion said that if you want to see a woman who has been promised paradise, look at that woman. How could you recognize the woman unless he had seen her face? And if you see my answer I've given in the Islamic voice, there are various Sai hadith which show that at the time of the Prophet there were lady companions who did show their faces. And this is also mentioned by Sheikh Nasir Darbani, but I'm also aware that the other great scholars like Sheikh Bin Baz and Sheikh Utaimi who say that the face should be covered. But any authentic scholars, any Salaf scholars, what they say that any lady who covers the face should not rebuke at those ladies who don't cover their face. And those who do not cover the face should not rebuke at those who cover their face. So the scholars are divided. But there's not a single authentic hadith according to Sheikh Nasruddin al-Bani who says that the face should be covered. There are various hadith in Abu Dawud also when the sister of Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, Hazrat Asma, may Allah be pleased with her, when she comes in from the Prophet, the Prophet says, now we have reached maturity. Your complete body should be covered except the face and the hands up to the wrist. This is a Mursal hadith. But according to Sheikh Nasruddin al-Bani, he supports it with Sahih hadith and says, this hadith which is Mursal becomes a Sahih. So he gives various Sai Hadith which say that if a woman wants to expose the face, she can. So covering the face is not a fard. It is mustahab. If someone covers the face, a woman, alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah. It is good. I will never object to it. But what Allah and His Prophet has not made the fard. No woman, no scholar in the world, let it be anyone, can make it fard on any other Muslim. So based on research, and even we have various research that we do in IRF and many I know it is common that the woman should cover the face but when I ask any scholar present to me any Sai Hadith any one single Sai Hadith in which it says that the Prophet commanded that you should cover your face you will not find a single and there is neither any verse in the Quran which says that the face should be covered. All the verses of Surah Noor, chapter number 24, verse number 31, and Surah Azab, chapter 33, verse number 59, it talks about Jilbab, talks about the woman's body should be covered. It never talks about the face being covered. Even Surah Noor, chapter 24, verse number 31 says that the veil should go over the bosoms. But yet, I also say that covering the face is mustahab. It's encouraged. It is not a fard. So what the Prophet and Allah has not made fard, even I cannot make. So covering the face for a woman in Islam is not further according to me. Yet there are many scholars who say it should be covered. I say fine, it is their view. Since no one has presented to me any Sai Hadith, any verse of the Quran. So based on that sister, all those ladies are covering the face. Alhamdulillah, please continue. Please don't misunderstand. And I know that there were at least about 17 ladies from IRF who came. Out of which 14 were covering the face. Alhamdulillah. Three weren't. So the option is yours. It's not a fard. But if those are covering, it is good. Keep on covering. I'm not saying you should not cover. But since covering is not far,